Hello everyone and welcome to Stories Untold, which was actually a game gifted to me by one of you guys, so thank you very much for that to start off with. Now, uh, last year, a few months ago, you might remember me playing a game called The House Abandoned, which was a horror text adventure with a few interesting twists, let's say. And that was very enjoyable, I had a lot of fun with it. Well, as it turns out, that was actually just part one of this new four-part series called Stories Untold. So, we've got three new episodes to play through. The Lab Conduct, The Station Process, and The Last Session. And if the house abandoned was anything to go by, these three are going to be wonderfully fun to play through. I'm probably going to have a blast playing this. So yeah, very much looking forward to giving this a go. Uh, as you can see, I can't play the three new ones right now. I have to actually complete The House Abandoned again. But um, I actually don't mind that, because this is actually meant to be a remastered version of that game. So, uh, yeah, I want to see exactly what they changed, what they improved. So, uh, yeah, for many of you, welcome, but for some of you, welcome back to The House Abandoned. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, nice. Well, that's a new intro. I don't remember that in the uh, original game. Definitely getting a Stranger Things vibe. I'm sure that's no coincidence. But here we are. This is it. Yeah, I really don't mind playing this again. The first time was so fun, and it's been so long that I don't remember everything about this, to be honest. It's good stuff. This game isn't really playing a text adventure. It's, it's playing someone else playing a text adventure. Which makes it very interesting, and that's kind of where the twists come in. But I'm not going to say any more because that would be ruining it. Anyway, here we go. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. So, of course, this game is done completely with the keyboard. Or at least, it used to be done completely with the keyboard. It seems that this time, I've got a cursor. I don't know if that was the case last time, honestly. Interesting. But yeah. I'm going to have to type in my commands. So, let's see. Um, I should probably look in the glove box, right? So, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Uh, well, let's see. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Alright. So, uh, yes, the generator. We need to get to the generator. I remember that. Okay, so we probably have to leave car. Yep, you open the car door and step out. It's all very, very well done, really. I think I said this last time. It definitely, for me at least, evokes a sense of nostalgia. Lots of memories of playing MS-DOS games and stuff like that. It's brilliant. Um, yeah, okay, so we want to go round to the backyard, don't we? So, uh, go to yard. You take a walk round to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Right, uh, let's look around. Does that work? Okay, that's a decent enough command. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to generator. You're standing next to it. Okay, that's good then. Um... Use it? Switch it on? Use it, I guess? Use generator. You switch the generator on, and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we're done round here, so... Uh, go to front door. You walk back around to the front of the house. Now, I believe that key we have is going to unlock the front door. Just like last time, right? Unless, of course, that's been changed. It's possible, but... I'm not going to beat around the bush. I kind of know what I'm doing right now, so let's see. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Brilliant. Okay. Go inside. You step inside the front door. This is great. <laughs> I don't play enough text adventure games. There aren't enough around anymore. I mean, there probably are. I just don't know where to find them, but this is great. This feels very cool to me. 
Uh, anyway, yeah, I enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and I can't see anything. I feel a light switch next to the door, so okay. You switch, or... Okay, that was good enough. I thought it might have to be more specific, but no. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Okay, uh, let's just have a look around the place, shall we? Let's start with the kitchen. I walk into the kitchen. The kitchen's tidy and well-kept. There's a door to you. Oh, utility room, that's right. But, uh, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Okay. Uh, shall I look around again? Let's... Let's try that. That seems to be a pretty good command. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Okay, uh... I wonder if this has changed. Ah, the utility room door is locked. Still, you have no idea where the key could be. No, no I don't. Um, okay. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, can we go straight to the living room? Let's see. Nope. There you go. <laughs> I have to abide by these quite linear, strict commands, but that's fine, that's fine. That's kind of what I want out of a game like this. So I have to go to hallway again, right? Yep, I go back out to the hallway, so I can go to the next room. Can I start to... Okay, I can't start typing instantly, but uh, yeah. Go to kitchen. Nope, sorry, fuck. <laughs> almost, almost made a mistake. Go to living room. There we go. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here, playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting, so once again we're just going to look around. There's nothing here of interest. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Now I want to go upstairs. So, go upstairs, is that good enough? Yeah. <laughs> you walk upstairs to the landing. Now, let's see. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. No bedroom for my parents. That's a little bit strange, but okay. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Okay, look at pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Okay. Um, I do want to go to my room, obviously, but let's maybe start off with go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room, okay? Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colourful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Much like this game, really. Okay, um, shall we delve into the toys or something? Can we do that? Uh, I don't know, really. I mean, let's, let's look around, see if there's anything else that I didn't mention. Oh, there's a large wardrobe in the corner. The door slightly ajar. Oh, interesting. Okay, look in. There you go, got fat fingers. Look in wardrobe. It's very hard to type when I've got this microphone right in front of me. And I think that's the exact same excuse I used last time, but it's still true, damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. She never liked you going through her stuff. Well, really? I don't think she's going to mind. Or maybe she does. I don't know. Right. Okay, tell you what, go to uh, landing, I guess? Let's leave, yeah, go back to the landing. And let's go to the bathroom, shall we? You step inside the bathroom, and what do I see in there? Hmm, not much to note, but it's all in good order. That's good enough for me. Okay. Go back to landing, is that a thing? Yep. You step back onto the landing. Okay. Go... Oh, shit. <laughs> I forget. You've got to wait. You've got to wait. Alright. Go to... My room. Is that good? Yep. You walk into your old room. Fantastic. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. So, of course, what we want to do is open the box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer! A future 128k plus 2! It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works! Okay, enter, sure. Uh, your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. Right, right, right. And a copy of The House Abandoned. It's... Uh, oh, this is new, I think. I don't think we had to do this last time. It's all still to be set up, though. Okay. Uh, set up... Computer? 
That's good enough. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. Great. Ah, there's a game here too. Of course there is. Okay, uh, insert game. Use game? That'll do. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. All right. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> that kind of caught me off guard, that. I don't know if that was in the first one. That was pretty good, though. Ah, oh, and here we go. Now things start to get a little bit strange. Get out, get out, get out. I'm very glad there's going to be more episodes just like this, but here we go. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. Slightly different then. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. This time, I can't stand to be near this place. Huh. Okay, well, once again, let's just open. Glove box. Just like last time, there's a key and a handwritten note. Okay. Read the note. Huh. This time I don't recognize the handwriting. It says, Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car, get out the car, and so on and so forth. Huh. Creepy. Okay. Well, hopefully the key I've got is still to the front door. I assume there's nothing else to do in the car. Hmm. I know I can't stand to be near this place, but I know I have to go in again, so... Leave car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. Really? Like I crashed or something, maybe. Uh, the house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There's no love here. I think once again I'm going to have to turn the generator on. So yeah, stepping through the debris, what the hell? The grass is overgrown, and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Okay, um... Can I just straight up use generator? Because I'm assuming it's still there. Ah. That's pretty clever. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, well, it seems the power has actually been restored. At least for the while. So, go back to front door. You go back to the front of the house. Yo. Okay, so once again, use the key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock. Hurts to hear. Wow. Alright. You reluctantly step inside the front door. This is good stuff. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. So maybe I will. Maybe I will. Or, oh, hang on. Is, are the lights on yet? Wait, wait, hang on. Turn on lights. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the car- Whoa! <laughs> Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Uh, okay. Stop, it says- Oh sh yeah, hang on. Somehow, the alarm stops. You can feel- oh my god, that's brilliant. Uh, you're still in the hallway. I know I've done this before, but this is this is still brilliant. The noise has stopped, but you still feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Right, let's read the note again. I have a feeling it might be different. I can't read the note- oh shit, it's bleeding. Fine, okay, well let's try the kitchen again, shall we? Let's pretty much do what we did last time. And uh, see if anything's changed, because I think things might have. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Interesting. Um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll have to try it. The door is still locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Interesting. Right, writing on the wall, right? Okay, hang on. In blood. The number 1986 is smeared across the wall. As you can see, it being smeared on the wall right now, right in front of me. 
this is cool. I really do hope the next three episodes are going to be just as good as this, if not better. Because honestly, this is like Game of the Year material to me in a way. Um, okay, I think I know what that's going to be about, but let's continue to have a look around the kitchen, I suppose. Actually, let's, let's say that, look around. Anything I missed in my sort of summation of the area? Just the writing on the wall. Okay, not much else. Fair enough. Uh, okay, well, let's go back to the hallway then, yeah? I wonder if I will find a key for that utility room door. I don't think I could do that last time in the original version. I'm sure it does feel disgusting if it's bleeding. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's go to... Living room. You enter the living room. Of course I do. The living room. Although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Uh, okay. Why is the note fixed in my mind again? Shall I read the note again? Maybe it stopped bleeding. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Ooh, okay. Um... Yet again, I think I'm going to have to look around. That's probably what I'll keep going back to. Run down and empty. Abandoned. And for good reason. Okay, so there's not really too much here. Alright, we're going upstairs. You return to the hallway. So, yeah, 1986. I think I might be using that in a moment. They creak, do they? Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Still no parents' room, which is kind of- Whoa! Weird! Behind the door, a phone starts to ring, you don't understand, neither can he. Pick up phone. Yeah? Was this part of the game before? I don't know. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be in there. You need to hang up the phone. Oh, I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Okay, hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Relief. <laughs> okay, same but different. Right. <laughs> I wonder. Can I, uh, can I put a command in to pull the telephone wire out or something like that? <laughs> uh, right. I want to have a look around. So. Look around. The landing is bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall, all misaligned. Well, I did this last time. Let's see what's changed. Look at the pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Huh. Okay. Um. Well, just like last time, let's go into the sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Hmm. Uh, remove boards? Ah, oh, I don't understand. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, I guess I couldn't do that, even if I did put the right command in, really. So, okay, let's uh, let's go to bathroom. You went to the bathroom. No boards on this one, then. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Anything else? A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Can I look in the mirror? Let's try that. Look into mirror, or look at mirror, maybe. Oh, you can't bear to look at yourself. Why? Can I read the note? Let's read the note again. The note is impossible to read due to all the black oil that now covers it. That's crazy. Okay. God, this is fun. I feel that I could play this game, like, again and again, and, and keep finding new things to look at and sort of describe to myself. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's try my room. No. Oh shit, yeah, of course. I need to go back out to the landing, don't I? Alright. Actually, did I do- I don't think I did this on the landing. Let's read the note here, see if anything's changed. The note is now clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. Get in, get out. 
Hmm. Now you see, this may have been in the sort of original free version of the game, but I don't think I actually did this. So, yeah, this is pretty interesting. Anyway, yeah, let's go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock, and I wonder what that can be. Look at lock. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Okay, uh, really? Uh, use lock? Okay, that works. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Same but different. Okay. Uh, well, obviously the next step is to go inside. God damn it. <laughs> I've done that a few times now. I can't spell into for some reason. Go into my room. The door is closed. Oh, fuck's sake. Open the door then. You open the bedroom door. Right. <laughs> go on. Which... <laughs> this is not the time for that. It really isn't. Okay. Oh, go into my room. You enter your bedroom. Here we go. I'm not seeing a shadow on the wall. Is that good or not? Uh, the bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp. You've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on, and the clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Okay, let's read the note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. I think I theorized that perhaps that carcass in the kitchen may have been a family member. Did I? Oh, I didn't look at it this time. Maybe I would have got something different, but yeah, okay. Uh, nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Before that happens, can I do one little thing? Ah, you don't know what you're trying to use. Oh, Christ. Okay, fair enough. What about turn off lights? <laughs> okay, fair enough. So not all the commands I want to use are actually in this game, it seems. Or maybe I'm just not thinking uh, in the linear fashion or the lateral fashion that I need to. Uh, anyway, yeah. End. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please, stop. <laughs> okay. Alright. It was all my fault. Say it. Uh, okay. It was all my fault. Finally. <laughs> and I suppose for the second time, that was the house abandoned. And for the second time, I really enjoyed myself. And I hope you guys did too. Right, now the question remains. Do you want to see more stories untold? Do you want to see me tackle the three episodes that I haven't even seen before? If you do, let me know by commenting down below or by liking the video, okay? Maybe I'll see you in a part two. See you next time. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. No bedroom for my parents? That's a little bit strange, but okay. I'll look in wardrobe. It's very hard to type when I've got this microphone right in front of me. And I think that's the exact same excuse I used last time, but it's still true, damn it. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. All right. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> that kind of caught me off guard, that. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet. Whoa! They creak, do they? Your room and the bathroom. Still no parents' room, which is kind of whoa weird. God damn it! <laughs> I've done that a few times now. I can't spell into for some reason. Go into my room. The door is closed. Oh fuck's sake! Open the door then. Which? <laughs> this is not the time for that.